On today's show, we spot a wild-looking Jeep Wrangler, Google reveals who's helping it develop self-driving cars, and designers choose the best-looking concept and production vehicle at the Detroit Auto Show. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily for January 15th of 2015. We've seen some gorgeous vehicles at the Detroit Auto Show, and the folks at Eyes on Design, led by automotive design leaders, handed out their top honors. The Ford GT received Best Production Vehicle, even though technically it's not really the production vehicle. On the concept side, the Buick Avenir nabbed the top prize, while the 2016 Audi Q7 had the best designed interior. Congrats to the winners, because those are some really good looking vehicles. Recently, Google revealed an updated version of its autonomous car, and yesterday the internet giant revealed that it's working with a number of automakers and suppliers to make it become a reality by 2020. The OEMs pitching in are GM, Ford, Toyota, Daimler, and Volkswagen. On the supplier side, it's Continental, Roush, and LG. Continental provided tires, electronics, and other components, while the prototype was built in Detroit by Roush. Still to come, Chrysler announces plans for a new minivan, and we bet you've never seen a Jeep that looks like this. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion, and by Dow Automotive Systems, breakthrough technologies for lightweight vehicles. The number of players in the minivan segment has dropped to about the number in mid-sized trucks. Even so, it's still important for the pioneer of the segment, Chrysler, and the brand is coming out with a new one. The news of a new Chrysler minivan to be shown in January of 2016 was confirmed on the company's corporate Twitter feed. Now we'll just have to wait and see what's going to happen with the iconic Dodge Caravan. You know, I thought the vehicles I've never seen before were supposed to be inside the Detroit Auto Show, not outside it. While walking back to the car yesterday from the Autoline Supplier Symposium, we spotted this gem from behind. At first, we thought it might be some kind of Hummer, but once we got up to it, we could see it was a modified four-door Jeep Wrangler with a truck bed. This example from the company American Expedition Vehicles is called the Brute Double Cab. The frame was extended 39 inches to accommodate the composite bed, and among other off-road features, it has the top of the line 470 horsepower, 6.4 liter Hemi V8. While our winter here in the Motor City hasn't been all that bad so far, this is probably the perfect vehicle to have. And speaking of the Autoline Supplier Symposium, you can tune in again today. So if you want to learn more about what's happening on the supplier side of the business, John is interviewing executives from a number of suppliers on the floor of the Detroit Auto Show. That's today starting at 3 p.m. Eastern Time on our website. Autoline.tv. And coming up next, a look at some of the highlights of the Detroit Auto Show. Hey. hey! Did you have a good nap? The Firestone Destination LE2. <laughs> Tough enough to handle anything the road throws at you and you throw it it. Durable, dependable Firestone tires. Whatever you drive, drive a Firestone. Due to the hectic schedule of the auto show, there will not be an auto line after hours tonight. But John and Gary did meet up on the floor of the show and they talked about what vehicles stood out most for them. We're on the floor of the North American International Auto Show in Detroit. I'm talking with Gary Vasilash now, the editor of Automotive Design and Production Magazine, who's been interviewing all kinds of automotive designers at the show. And Gary, what are some of the key trends that you're picking up on? Well, I, I think the, the most interesting trend is that there seems to be no specific trend, <laughs> no one thing. The I trend mean, okay, is no we're, trend. No, I mean, we're, I mean okay, we're, we're standing here in front of the, the, the Ford GT, which, um, you know, supercar, stylish. Um, we're seeing a lot of a lot of work going on in terms of surfaces on this car. We can go right across the way and look at the Acura NSX. Same sort of thing going on. Okay, but once you leave that, 
okay, you suddenly find yourself looking at a variety of other vehicles. So, you know, you look at the, the big, bold, brassy new Titan, okay, which is, um, you know, an all-new vehicle. Now, Ford, of course, is showing the Raptor, but it's basically a trim package of the F-150. We could look at the... Uh, um, the, 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 the new, new Rebel at The new at Rebel Ram. at Ram, and again... Very aggressive front end. Tr- trim package, though. Oh, yeah, right? trim so, package. So, right. so not, not an all-new thing. Um, you know, you could see the new Chevy Volt, which basically, I mean, no one else has really come here and said, okay, we're going we're gonna, to, you know, pound a stake in the ground and have green vehicles, all right? So, so you're not seeing that. Now, um, I was talking to Ralph Gilles, of, of Chrysler, and, or no, that's FCA yeah, that's right. US LLC, <laughs> and, and, and he, had a, he had a very interesting point. He said, you know, because I was talking to him, okay, you know, Ralph, what are you seeing in terms of, you know, what, what, what does this show represent? And he said that basically 2014 was about validation and 2015 is about momentum. And so as, you know, and he was talking in general about what he's seeing across the show, that, you know, you see a lot of activity and, um, you know, and, and similarly, um, and to be dropping names, because what the heck, um, you know, I was talking to Shiro Nakamura, who's in charge of Nissan design. So this is the, you know, Nissan corporate. So he has Infinity as, as well as Nissan under him. And, and he said that he was very encouraged to see the fact that there isn't so many different types of vehicles being shown here and not, you know, this is not just necessarily the year of the supercar, although I'm sure that this will be all the reporting out of here is going to be about but this But in other car. words, they're not all lemmings going over the cliff doing the same thing. And, 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 and what it seems to be is that a number of the manufacturers are, are sufficiently confident and comfortable in what they're doing such that they're putting out their own vehicles. They're putting out their own designs. They're putting out vehicles that are saying, hey, you know, we're not so worried now. We're not so concerned about the economy being bad. I mean, we saw um, earlier the new uh, MKX that, that Lincoln came out, you know, that as, as they're having their rebirth. And basically, I think that what Lincoln is saying is, is that, you know, we're here and we have our designers and we've given them a mission and they're fulfilling that mission. And, uh, you know, I think that's great to see. I think that it's, uh, you know, a lot of enthusiasm among the people in the car companies. And, you know... Um, Five years ago, we wouldn't totally be having we wouldn't story. be having this conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, would be, well, it would be a different thing. It's good that we're in an up cycle right now. But Gary, thanks so much for giving us a very short but very concise interview of what's going on with design trends at the Auto sure. Show. Thanks, John. Well, that wraps up today's show. Thanks for watching, and please join us again tomorrow.